Hey loves, my name is Kyle August and I'm here to help you manifest your specific person in the quickest and easiest possible way. Now before you try and get into the state, here is something I want you to know. So always remember, two things cannot exist in the same place at the same time in your mind. And you might be like, well, what do you mean by that? So in this case, we have to always choose what state we're going to be coming from, right? If we are coming from a state of abundance, that cannot simultaneously exist if we're coming from a state of lack or non-abundance in the same way wealth in your mind. You can't be both the wealthy person and also the poor person at the same time. We need to always be picking one. And throughout manifestation, this is something um, personally I was really thinking about because this metaphor I'm going to tell you is going to make it make a lot more sense and it's going to be a lot easier to remain in the state just based on the ways that we are kind of viewing our thoughts or the way we view our mind when it comes to feeling in the wish fulfilled state or feeling like someone who is already with your specific person. Uh, but here it is. In your mind right now, I want you to take a look at how you kind of view your thoughts on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, would you say that you feel very confident in knowing there's like a black and white scenario in your mind where you're like, I'm either coming from the state or I'm not? Or is it more like a storm cloud of things, thoughts kind of running together? Some support your outcome, but then some don't support your outcome right? This is more likely going to resemble what a lot of us are thinking and feeling internally. And that's how I always viewed it before this idea. But remember, if you have this storm clown in your mind, it seems very difficult or hard to try to corral or keep your thoughts connected or pointing towards a positive state, right? So instead, I want you to go through this metaphor in your mind. Since we know two things, two states cannot exist at the same exact time, we have to make sure we're always using one specific one. So in this case, I want you to go inside your mind and almost imagine it like a museum, okay? You have a bunch of things that are on display all around the museum, right? You have something on display, kind of like one of those podiums with the glass boxes in it. Let's say you have something on display for your career, right? It's a state you're in for that. Uh, maybe there's another thing on display for your friendships, another thing on display for your family, and then another one for your love. But the one for our love, that's what we're going to take a look at, or relationships. So with that one, always remember, when you come up to that little podium in your mind with the glass container, only one thing can be on display at any given time, right? You can't put two things on display in that podium. It only fits one. So in this case, remember, when we're coming from a state, we have then placed that specific thing on display in our podium. And then as soon as we come from a different state, we must then take that off of the podium and replace it with something else. So what I mean by this is that we are either on display, we're putting on display in our mind of our thoughts and beliefs of being in the wish fulfilled state of being in a relationship with our specific person, or we are not. You can't have both of those being done simultaneously at the same time. You can't simultaneously be thinking and believing that you are in a relationship with your specific person, but then also at the same time believing you are not with them and you are single, right? Those two things can't exist at the same time. Um, like right now, could you hold, looking at this on your phone, your laptop, um, maybe this isn't a good example, uh, but with this thing, can more than one, can you be viewing this on your phone or basically viewing this video on multiple devices? You might be like, well, yeah, but you're, I'm talking about like attention wise. Maybe that isn't such a good example. Um, but the idea is we are either, we're always choosing one or the other. And that's what Neville Goddard talks about when he mentions you have to die to your old state and move into the new completely. You need to, if you want to be wealthy, you need to allow that poor person or the poor person that you used to be to completely die. The unwealthy person is gone and completely deceased. 
He actually uses Moses as a metaphor for this because nobody knows where Moses was buried. He wrote his own obituary. So in this case, I want you guys to write your own obituary for that old state. You are not the single person. You are not the person pursuing your specific person. You are not the person trying to get your specific person's love. You are the person who is absolutely loved by your specific person, is pursued by them, and you could do anything and your specific person would love you regardless. That's what we want to put on display in that love podium in our mental museum. Uh, but this can work with anything else when it comes to to your any manifestation you want to do we're always going to have one overwhelming thing on display in our mind and again it may seem like changing that visualization and let me know if you guys kind of thought of it as a rain or storm cloud with diverging emotions or ideas there's always a belief that is overwhelming I mean, you can have like mental thoughts against it, but one of them is going to be concrete. One of them is going to be on display in your mind as your belief for that thing. Um, without a doubt, this is always going to be happening. And you can even kind of notice, even thinking from this new metaphor, I would say go throughout your day and kind of ask yourself, what are you putting on display? And it could be with anything. Maybe you want to try it with manifesting a specific person, but then you also want to put it with uh, manifesting wealth. What are you putting on display? In that case, even the small things, and it's like that video I uh, made about the wildfire, in that case... Remember that even the small things that spark and create that wildfire can potentially have you begin to replace that feeling or belief of being with your specific person that's, again, on display um, with the feeling of being single. Because if you are truly in the state or the feeling of already being with your specific person, all of your beliefs, thoughts, and actions are going to align with that without a doubt, 100%. And when you begin to see that your thoughts, beliefs, or actions align with the opposite, I want you to go into your mind, take that vessel, whatever it is you want on display the, and the podium, take that feeling of being single, replace it with the feeling of being in a relationship. Uh, now, mentally, it sounds very easy. And if you actually visualize it in this way, it's going to make it feel and be a lot easier. A lot of times, things are all up to our visual acts of how we actually view something that makes it very easy or very difficult. Think about climbing a mountain, right? If you begin to focus on or look at all of the problems that you may run into or even make some up of your own, that journey seems very difficult now, right? We have now made it and assumed and looked at and viewed and now we're kind of manifesting or creating more of these problems. And this seems like to you would seem like a much more difficult journey. But then if you begin to focus on the positives or like how easy it's going to be, right? The same thing begins to occur. You begin to see that the um, the way you visualize your path to, the, path to the mountain seems easier and therefore it will be easier. So I would say actually even do this with your specific person. When you are looking at a like a path to them, Imagine it being easy and effortless. Like I say this at the beginning of every single video. Imagine it being easy and effortless and it absolutely will be. Don't be imagining that it's going to be horrible or this and that. Um, it's only going to, it only makes you not feel good, right? And then we know it's not true. Um, you guys are going to have super easy path from now on. This is my assumption. This is our manifestation together. From now on, your path to your manifestation, to your specific person, whatever you want it to be, is going to be super easy super effortless. But I want you guys to try this out and then come back and maybe comment on this video what you guys feel like you are putting up uh, in your reality on display in the podium. Again, just to reiterate, you can only hold one, you can't have two things in the same place at the same time in your mind. You're either acting from the state or you cannot be. And I promise if this sounds confusing, the more you actually begin to act and ask yourself, what's on display right now? it's going to make it seem a whole lot easier. It's gonna make a whole lot more sense and you're gonna see huge changes begin to occur because we'll find ourselves placing, even though we're thinking a certain way, we're placing the feeling of being single on display in our mind in the love case. And so in that case, 
Just pull it off. Change it out with the relationship. Mentally, mentally do that. And then follow what you're feeling to do and see the outcomes that begin to occur um, with that idea. Uh, like I mentioned though, try it out and then leave a comment below. I want to know how you guys kind of work with this or how it works for you. Or maybe if you're feeling right now that you've been putting something else on display and this metaphor kind of made it click. Um, if you have any questions as well, leave them in the comments section below. Um, you can always ask me any questions or go to my website and ask me a question, kyleaugustcoaching.com. It's where I have one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Uh, please check out my tick. Well, I mean, you don't have to, but I mean, if you like TikTok and you have a TikTok, check out my TikTok manifestation, man. Um, give a like on this video if you guys really liked it. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to continue getting the best content, um, manifesting your specific person. I want to see you guys grow and I want to see you guys manifest your specific person this year, okay? This month, you know what? This week, I want to see all you guys manifest within this week. Um, if you don't, that's perfectly fine. Each path is perfect. The bridge of events is going to be perfect. Uh, but I know you guys have it in, in within you. You already have all of your manifestations alive within you. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Um, but with that, I'll see you guys next time.